There are many sacrifices in life. Uh, and when it comes to online businesses, making money online, such as binary options of Forex or CFD or crypto trading, there are sacrifices that you have to do as well in order to be successful. So in this specific video, I'm going to tell you the three things I sacrificed in order to be a successful trader from zero, where I am making over six figures a month. Are you ready? If you're new into my channel, my name is Christian and this is the BLW online trading channel. And in this specific channel, I do a lot of software reviews, broker reviews, and just like in this video, I give you tips and strategies as to how to make money with online trading. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. If at any point during this video you found value on it, make sure you smash the like button to support the channel and show your love to the BLW community. With that being said, let's jump into the video. So sacrificing stuff to be successful is like one of the main things that you had to do, right? And uh, eventually we end up realizing that those were things that we had to sacrifice in order to be where we wanted to be. This is with online businesses, any type of online business, or even starting your own company, being an entrepreneur. Because when you're a binary options trader, a day trader, you are indeed an entrepreneur, right? So I'm going to talk about the three things that I had to sacrifice when I started my career as an online trader. I want to tell you up front that it was totally worth it. And it might sound harsh because you might think like, hey, I can't give up this. But it's it, it's really a decision that you have to make whether you want to be a successful trader or not. And I can guarantee you this without these sacrifices, I couldn't make it. So if you want to make it, you're going to have to give up these three things and uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get dislikes for people that don't agree with me it's okay but if you want to be successful you have to give up stuff in life and this and this video I'm gonna tell you the three things uh, the three hardest things I had to sacrifice in order to become a day trader okay so first thing uh, first thing that I had to sacrifice uh, like in order to become a day trader was family and friends both combined uh, why and you might think like, whoa, I'm, I'm not going to give up my mom. I'm not going to give up my brother, my girlfriend, whatever. No, here's the deal. It's not like you have to stop talking to them forever. OK, but the truth is that our family and friends are the biggest obstacles to become successful in life. And let me explain you why we grew up together. Like we have the same type of mentality and lifestyle, like we're either middle class or poor, whatever. So we have the same mentality, right? And when you want to be successful, you need to get away from this mentality, get away and either start alone or get together with people that are successful. Why? Because the mentality is different. And that's not even that's like that's the easy part. The worst part is that when you start something new and when you want to be rich, when you want to be successful, when you want to work from home, when you want to be free, the first thing your family tells you is not to do it. And don't get me wrong. It's not that they're bad people or anything like that. It's just that they think and they're sure that that's a bad advice. Like that's a bad thing to do. So for your mom and your dad, which by the way, they are from the industrial age, from the 80s and 90s, they think that working from home is being lazy, it's not secure, and it's not going to get you anywhere. What is going to get you somewhere? Study, like go to college, get a degree, get a good job, like high paying job with uh, uh, I don't know, have good benefits or whatever and retire and leave from social security or whatever it is in your country that they give to retired people. So there are three opposite things that we believe. They think that having a job is secure. I think that's the riskiest thing in the world because they can fire you anytime. The company is going to keep on going and you're going to be unemployed. That's the first opposite thing. Second thing is that they want to have a high paying job, 
but having a business is way higher payout than having a job, right? And you can manage your payouts. So that means that every year it keeps on increasing while your payout keeps on the same. And number three is that when you have a job like, like this, when you have a job and you retire, it's not like they're gonna increase your payments or they're gonna keep on the same payments that you're getting. You're gonna get lower budget, right? If you get some. When you have a business and you retire, you retire because the business is handled by himself and you're gonna get the same or more money that you were having the last few years. So there's two ways of looking at things. I'm not saying which one is bad, good and wrong. I'm just saying to me, it's better to be an entrepreneur. But for our parents, our cousins, our aunts or uncles, whatever, this is the idea they have. So when you start something new, you wanna be an entrepreneur, they're gonna be your biggest obstacle. Same thing as your friends. Your friends have different uh, type of thinking. They're like, hey, you wanna quit your job? You're dumb. Why? Because you're losing a good job and you wanna start something you're not gonna achieve. They don't think you're capable of doing it. They're like, hey, you know what? You're gonna be a failure and then you're gonna be looking for a job again. And while you're looking for a job, I'm gonna have a degree, you know? They think that you're, they're better than you, they're smarter than you, and don't, don't get me wrong, it's not like I haven't gone through it. When I quit my job in order to become a day trader, they told me, you're making a dumb mistake in about a couple, in about three, four months, you're gonna be back looking for a job and you're gonna have to start from scratch again because I was a training manager in the company that I was in or training supervisor, whatever. So the truth is that they're, they think they're better than you and don't get me wrong, don't get it personal, don't get like, hey, I hate my friends now. No, I have those friends still and they're my friends and I love them too much. But just we had different mentalities. So what is it that what I mean when I say sacrifice family and friends. I mean sacrifice time with family and friends. You're gonna have to start spending time on your own. And don't, I mean, don't be like, whoa, I don't, I, I, I'm afraid of loneliness. It doesn't matter, all right? Uh, be a man, be a girl, be a big girl, you know? Be bright and be like, whoa, I can be on my own because that's what it takes to be successful. You're gonna have to start spending time on your own. Do you know what are better friends than your friends for your successful career? Books. Start reading books, okay? Start a, a, listening to educational and motivational videos. Trust me, they're gonna tell you exactly what you need to hear at the exact moment every single time. So that's sacrifice number one, time with friends and family, that's number one. Number two, the sacrifice that I had to do when I was a beginner and I wanted to become a day trader, it was social life. And it goes hand by hand, but it also means going out Friday night, hey, it's Friday, the GIF, I wanna go get a couple of drinks, I wanna uh, get drunk, I wanna smoke, I wanna meet this girl, if you're single, of course, I wanna go dancing, I wanna go whatever, I wanna go see a movie. Um, if you don't drink, of course, I wanna go, uh, I wanna go and take a trip and chill. I just, it's a weekend, I wanna, it's cool, you know, it's fun. But trust me, when you go back on Monday to your job or whatever, you're gonna have wasted two important days of your life, if not three or four. Why? Yes, social life is good, but there, there's social life that is like profitable and social life that is wasted. Wasted means parties, uh, drinking, going to the movies, going to trips. Those are wasted. We need it. Yes, we need it. We, we need to release the stress or whatever. We need them. But are they going to like add something to our business or to our day trading career or to our mindset? No. It's just gonna take something off of value out of our mind, okay? When you go and see a movie, yeah, it's, it, it's cool, it feels good, but then what happens? You stop thinking about important things because you're watching a movie, you're focused on the movie. 
while you could be thinking about a new plan, a new training, a uh, big trading opportunity, like, hey, thinking about the training that I got and I'm remembering, uh, yeah, what Chris told me on this training, whatever. Instead of doing that, you're watching a movie. Instead of doing that, you're drinking. Instead of doing that, you're in a trip with your friends, with your family or whatever. I know it's hard, but you have to sacrifice that. What did I do instead of doing that? Instead of going Friday nights, I used to stay home and watch educational videos. I used to stay home and practice on demo. On Saturdays, since I didn't have a hangover, because if you party on Friday, on Saturday you have a huge hangover, then what I did on Saturdays was actually either practice again on demo, watching the same trainings over and over, and one of the things that helped me was when I was in the signals group, I used to look at the pictures of people making money because that really fired me up. I was like, people is doing it. I can do it. People is doing it. I can do it. I'm going to do it. And motivated myself during the weekend. On Sunday, I was either reading a book, watching more videos, reading more comments, more pictures. And on Monday, I woke up at like 3 a.m., fired up, ready to make money, hungry. How do you wake up after going on a trip of three days where you drink, where you, you were drinking the entire trip? You obviously wake up on Monday like, whoa, I hate Mondays, Mondays again. I can't wait till Friday. Do you know what I mean? You weren't preparing. Weekends are not to rest. Weekends are the days that we need to prepare for a new week of opportunities of making money. This is only if you wanna be a day trader, of course. If you don't and you don't agree with what I'm saying, you're like, whoa, this guy's crazy. You're probably not in the same path that I am, that I was, and that many people is at this specific moment, okay? This is only if you wanna, if you truly wanna be a day trader. If you don't wanna be a day trader, if you wanna stay where you are or you wanna make money somewhere else, trust me, this thing works for binary options, for making money online, whatever, for your own business, for whatever. It's not just about day trading. So if you don't wanna make money and you're like, okay, where you being okay, then this video isn't for you. But if it is, make sure you smash the like button. If this video is touching you and you agree and you feel like challenged, Make sure you smash the like button, leave it in the comments. What is the biggest challenge? And right now, let's step to sacrifice number three. To me, this was the hardest, but I made a comparison because I, I do two, uh, people either do one or the other. You have to sacrifice video games slash TV, whether one or the other one. Uh, I put the two of them because I like gaming and I had to stop gaming. But many people don't like gaming, but they spend a lot of time on the TV, either watching series on Netflix or, you know, watching a movie or whatever, or even not watching anything, it's just like switching channels all the time. Even if you watch a documental or whatever on Nat Geo, yeah, it's good, it's relaxing, but it's a waste of time. Do you know who's making money while you're watching TV? The TV companies. Right, the cable company, the satellite company, the channel company itself, they're making money. You're not making money, right? It's time to make money. If we're young, we're old, we're too young, doesn't matter, it's time to make money. Tomorrow is too late, right? When do you wanna start making money? And people who is over 50s now, they can tell me, if you're struggling with money, you are thinking right now, I should have done that when I was 20. I should have done this when I was 20. I should have stopped watching TV when I was 20. I should have stopped gaming when I was 20. I should have stopped partying when I was 20. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you're over 50 and you feel like that, put it in the comment section below. Let other people realize that are 20, that this is the best time to actually do it. Right now I'm actually almost 30, but when I was 24, I started my journey. 23 actually, I started my journey, yeah? So video games and TV. I'm not saying don't ever play video games. If you have a PS4, go ahead and give it to you, Niffy or whatever. No, I'm not saying that. Yeah, you can game just a little bit uh, once in a while. But when I used to game, I used to sit up like around 7 p.m. and until 2 a.m. in the morning, like gaming, Call of Duty all night long. 
And it, I, I actually put it at the same side of TV because people that don't like gaming, have you ever ever like measured how much time you actually spend in front of the TV? It's crazy. You spend hours a week in front of the TV, like doing anything, just sitting around, like watching TV, watching friends, watching the, the news or whatever. And you're like, well, yeah. And then you're like, okay, it's time to go to sleep. You go to sleep, then you go to work. Then you come back home. All you do is take off your shoes, put, put on some sleepers, and then turn on the TV and do the same thing over and over and over. Third thing you need to sacrifice when you want to become a successful day trader or an entrepreneur itself is giving away the TV and the video game. Do you know what I used to do? Um, like when I started, I, I was like, yeah, it's hard to give up video games. So what I did is that instead of doing something uh, boring without no sound, I used to play on the music, put on music or put on a motivational stuff and keep on doing your stuff. Trust me, the days will go faster and better. You're going to feel better and you're going to get faster results. Trust me. So that's the third thing you need to sacrifice if you want to be successful. Those are the three things I sacrificed myself. And I, I could put like a hundred things that I had to sacrifice, trust me. But these are the hardest things I gave up when I wanted to become a day trader. So if you guys really feel like you're in the same page, you probably gave up something, but there's one of the three things that uh, you're still not giving up put it on the comment section, or if you think, uh, or if you wanna share something that is harder for you to actually give up in order to be successful, put it on the comment section below. I'll be glad to read your comments and answer any questions you guys have. And if you found value in this video, make sure you smash the like button. Don't give up, don't give up. I know it's hard to give up these stuff, but trust me, it's gonna be worth it at the end of the day. When you actually become successful, you're gonna have the time. Now I have the time to spend with my family and friends. Now I have the time to take trips. Now I, I take weekly trips. Now I have a social life that is way better. And I'm not saying about going out and get drunk. No, I'm saying I have social events where I can spend time with people with the same mentality I have, and it feels way better than spending time with a bunch of drunk, people inside of a bar or whatever. And plus I have the time, not the same time because I don't spend eight hours a day playing video games. But if I want a day uh, not to work and I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna play some video games for three, four hours, whatever. Like that's my marathon now, four hours of video games. I can do it because now I am in a position where I can do stuff because my business is moving itself. So yes, you're gonna get to a point where these things are not gonna be sacrificed anymore. This is just the beginning, okay? But it's gonna be totally worth it. It's gonna be hard at the beginning, but you're not alone. If you're part of the BLW community, uh, you can go to blwsignalsgroup.com or join my Facebook Signals group for free you're gonna be able to find a community of people that is doing exactly the same thing you're doing. So I recommend you to actually join there so that you can be more motivated with people that have gone or they are going through the same thing you are going through, okay? I hope that really makes sense. Make sure you actually share it with your friends. I'm sure they'll like it. And if you enjoyed this content, make sure you smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. So thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.